It's honestly so freaking hot in here and wearing black does not help because these soft boxes are just like heat and my shirt is like absorbing it. But like I'm too lazy to change my shirt so um yeah. What's up guys, Jeremy here, and for today's video, I'm gonna be doing one of my most requested videos of all time, and that is, of all time, as if. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing one of my most requested videos, and that is a how I edit my Instagram photos video. I've already made this video before, so if you guys wanna check that out, just go click somewhere up here. I don't know where the card is, but just somewhere in here, I'll put the card, and it's basically my old version of how I edit Instagram pictures. So check that out. I'll leave it in here. I keep repeating myself. Why do I do that? By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Subscribe if you're new to my channel because I do make videos every Monday and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos or if you just like this video in general. So yeah, but without further ado, let's get started with this video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what my theme looks like at the moment just so you guys would get to know a little bit about it and just so you'd see an insight of what my feed looks like. So yeah, so this is what my feed looks like at the moment. It's just very monochromatic with a little bit of sepia. I'm not sure if it's a sepia color, but it's very monochromatic as you can see and I don't really use a lot of colors except for green, blue, black, skin tone color, and gray. So I guess that's just my theme and if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, it's just iJeremyClyde. Go follow me, self promo. So currently I only use two apps to edit my pictures and that is Photoshop Fix and Viscocam and I really like these apps, I dig it so much because they're so intuitive, so simple and it does a lot for just you know, a free app. So yeah, I really like them and I think you guys should download it. So I like starting off with Photoshop Fix, so I'm just gonna click on that and go click the plus button on my phone and just upload the picture that I'm gonna be editing and I'm gonna be editing this picture at the moment, so yeah. As you can see, this picture does not really match my theme and there's like a red right there and I'm not a fan of that. And like on the background, it's a little bit brown so I really wanna desaturate that and kind of make everything in the background darker. So yeah, I'm gonna be using Photoshop Fix for this part. By the way, you guys, I don't really have like a step-by-step -step on how I edit my pictures. I really just go with the flow and you know, just follow my instincts and see where everything goes. So yeah, but the very first thing that I'm gonna be doing for this picture is desaturate the background. So I'm just gonna go to color desaturate and uh, move the opacity to around 30, no 40 and just start kind of like painting the background just so it's a little desaturated and I'm gonna click on restore and just restore all the things that were like overlap just so it's not saturated like my face right here as you can see I think I'm gonna desaturate the brown a little bit more because like it's not doing the justice for me so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and just like focus on that area. Maybe like right there. Just so it's a little grayish like that. That's what I like. And also this one right here. And also this top sign definitely because I don't want red on my picture. And also on these glasses as you can see. So I'm just gonna desaturate that part. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> and so yeah, there you go. I really like how it's laid out at the moment. You can't really see any pop of colors, like the stop sign is now gray. So that's what I like. And yeah, I think I'm satisfied with this. I'm just gonna click the check button. And the next thing that I do is I go to adjust. And I would always lower the shadows because I want to further enhance the blacks. So I'll probably move it to like about right here. And then if that's not enough for me, I usually go to contrast and also increase it just so it would make it a little bit more darker, so like that. And the thing about when I do this is that it like higher the saturation, so I will click on the saturation, drop that a little bit, not a little bit, probably like a lot, <laughs> but um, so like about right there, I think that's pretty good. So yeah, that's what I usually do on this adjust area. And I'm just gonna click on the check button because I'm done. And that's pretty much what I do on Photoshop Fix, but I feel like for this picture, I wanna darker, I wanna darken the background a little bit more because I don't know, I just feel like it's too light for my theme. So what I will do is go click on light, click on darken and probably do 40 again for the uh, opacity. And I would just start you know, painting the background and just making it darker. And don't worry if you painted like things that you didn't want to paint, you can always click on the restore button and you can just like start um, restoring, 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 I don't know how I say that word, but you just start like erasing. What am I saying? Basically what I'm trying to say is that you can just like 
kind of remove the things that you didn't want to darken in the first place. So yeah, just like that. You will definitely need a lot of patience for this, but I mean, if you don't mind that, you're good. And it doesn't have to be perfect as well, because if you zoom out, like I said a while ago, it doesn't really become noticeable. But I'm a perfectionist sometimes, so I have to like do it. All right, I think that's good. So I'm just gonna click the check button again. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys the before and after real quick. So just by using this app, I was able to go from here to here. Like that is such a huge difference for me. That's why I like this app a lot because you can do a lot of things in this and it's free. And instead of using Facetune, like this Facetune, that's expensive. Just use this app, it's Photoshop Fix. It really does a lot and it's pretty much the same as Facetune. So don't waste your money on Facetune, just go get this app. But I think this app is only for Apple, so yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this to my camera roll and just click on this little arrow thingy. Save to my camera roll and we are done. Well, not quite. We're gonna go to Visco camera real quick, click the plus button, click the picture you just edited, click check, and click this little adjustment button thingy. So what I do on um, Visco cam, I don't use any of these preset effects because I really don't like them. So what I do is just click on this little triangle, go click the adjustment button thing again and pretty much what I do for ViscoCam is I just use the vignette effect and just put a little and just put a little bit of it not too much like that because that would just so be be bad but um let's just go maybe to about like right there because I don't want it to be too dark and then just click the check button and then I also like adding grain to it because I really like the effect that it makes so maybe to like a 2.5, that was 2.6, but um, I'll just go check it real quick to see if it matches my theme. It actually really does right now, like as you can see, like from this picture and this picture, it really matches. So I think I'm set. So what I'll do next is just click the photo I edited, click this three little dots thingy and just save it to my camera roll, actual size, and we are freaking done. Oh wait, I actually forgot something. So if you guys have like unwanted spots in your picture that you don't want to be in your picture, just go to Photoshop Fix, and let's say I want to remove that little gray area thingy that I don't want because for some reason it annoyed me, but to be honest, it does not. But let's just say I hated that thing and I want to remove it. So what I would do is I will go to Healing Tool and just click Spot Heal, and I would legit just like hover over it and it should be gone like that like this is such a good feature cool feature so I would suggest to use it and let's say I don't know I want to remove this little freaking white thingy and yeah that's pretty much a little tip I guess that I forgot to mention to you guys so yeah but yeah guys that's pretty much it and I'll just put like a little before and after on this side just so you guys would see the difference so yeah but yeah guys that's pretty much it for my how I edit my Instagram pictures video I hope you guys liked it it was pretty simple and I only used two apps and I love those apps a lot Photoshop Fix and Visocam because they're very intuitive they're very simple to use and you can honestly do a lot of things on the app so that's what I really like if you guys like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below your Instagram usernames because I would love to check you guys accounts so yeah but other than that, I will see you guys next Monday.